it's been 40 years since we discovered the ozone hole. This revelation triggered immediate global action to ban harmful chemicals in everyday products. In 1985, scientists identified a significant thinning of the ozone layer over Antarctica. This alarming finding raised concerns about the impact on human health and ecosystems. The ozone layer, located in the stratosphere, acts as Earth's sunscreen. Without it, we face increased risks of skin cancer, DNA damage, and health issues for plants. This discovery is noteworthy as it shows how science, communication, and cooperation can tackle global challenges. John Shanklin, a key researcher, did not expect the large-scale response that followed. What caused this ozone hole? The answer lies in chlorofluorocarbons, or CFCs. These chemicals, once common in refrigeration and aerosols, release chlorine and bromine into the stratosphere. When these elements interact with ozone, they destroy it faster than it can be produced. Today, a substantial ozone hole forms every spring over Antarctica. While there are signs of recovery, it is very slow. CFCs linger in our atmosphere for over 50 years, delaying complete recovery until after 2070. The Montreal Protocol, established two years after the discovery, effectively halted the production of ozone-depleting substances. It set the stage for phasing these harmful chemicals out. This agreement is considered one of the most successful international environmental treaties. It has saved many lives by blocking harmful UV radiation. However, there's concern over our slow progress on climate change. John Shanklin emphasizes that although the Montreal Protocol is a success, many other environmental issues remain inadequately addressed. We must learn from this success to tackle climate change and other crises effectively. Join us in spreading awareness and taking action to protect our planet. The ozone layer's recovery is possible, and together we can make a difference.